We've been discussing this fight over short term vacation rentals. It's back in the spotlight. This is something we've been discussing for years. years. Of course, it's yeah. a it's a big money maker. A lot of people buy investment properties to be able to do this here in mm -hmm. San Diego. Yeah, to be able to rent their places out, right? So that helps them pay their mortgages, things like that. But of course, there's the battle about the neighborhoods. Uh, it's been a hot debate, as we mentioned, for many, many years. We could get some answers today. Here's CBS 8's Anna Laurel live in Mission Beach to explain what we might see changing. Good morning. Anna. That's right, you guys. This has been the big debate around San Diego, and today it's going to get a final vote before City Council. They hope to implement this, really start implementing it in the fall. Later this morning, the reason why we're out here at Mission Beach, City Council member Jennifer Campbell, she's the one that introduced this new ordinance the way it is, and so she's going to be out here talking about it because Mission Beach, this is the big hot spot for those short-term vacation rentals, the big tourist destination. So in the rest of the city, there there will be a 1% cap on all the short-term housing rentals out of all the housing units available. But here in Mission Beach, that number will swell to 30% of the available units. 30% will be able to be those short-term rentals. So that's one part of this new short-term residential occupancy ordinance. Right now, the city has 540,000 housing units. Think about it that way. They'll issue 5,400 short-term vacation rental permits, except for Mission Beach right here, where 30% of the homes can be rented. This new law requires property owners to get a license or a permit to have the rental, and there will actually be a citywide lottery system to get that permit. Property owners in good standing, they'll get priority in that lottery system. And finally, this new law will have stricter enforcement. A lot of people have complained that so many of the people that are supposed to be um, not doing Airbnbs are doing it, that kind of thing. So they're going, the city says they're going to have code enforcers to go around to make sure that this thing is working and every people are following the rules. Guests and property owners could be fined up to $1,000 for any violations. Now, here's where there is no limit on the number of permits that will be given out. Anyone who wants to rent out their whole home for less than 20 days a year, or if you rent out part of your home, regardless of the number of days per year. So as many people that want to can Airbnb just a room of their home. Now, the Coastal Commission just approved this from the city council back in March, but they had a stipulation. They said you're gonna, the city needs to revisit this in seven years to make sure that this new thing is working for everybody. So yes, big changes here in Mission Beach, you'll still have a lot of those Airbnbs available, um, but that number is gonna really drastically decrease. Right now, the city says there are about 16,000 short-term vacation rentals, now 5,400. So a big drop in those. Um, we'll be following this story out here in Mission Beach later this morning. Live for you for CBS 8, I'm Anna Laurel.